So alrighty, I've had the paint and the lights to replace all the lights on this trailer for a couple months now or better. And I just hadn't got around to doing it. So I'm going to take a wire brush on a grinder. I'm not going to show enough, kill it, but I'm going to work on it pretty good enough to rough it up, get all the reflective tape off of it and everything. And, and I'm going to try to get it painted right quick. Milwaukee five to six inch grinder with a uh, five inch wire brush on it. I've got the HD 12 battery on it right now. So I've got on it. She will pull and pull hard too. This is where I'm at right now. I got the neck done on it. Got it all brushed off and and I uh, got it sprayed to the from the coupler back. Of course, you know, it really needs to be sandblasted, but I ain't got time for all that mess. So I don't care. I just want to coat the paint on it is all I want. Good enough for me. I'm no painter, but I I can get it done. Uh, <laughs> it don't look like no pro. Because like I said, I'm not no pro. So now that it's cooled down, I'll take some of the grease here and this is dielectric grease is what this is. And just get it all over it. Very good, cover it real good. And then slide the heat shrink over everything and kind of center it up on it just like that 
and then take the old heat gun in here and just heat that heat shrink up or to pull it down Yeah, it'll kind of push some of that grease out, which is fine. That's just going to help it seal. Keep the water out. And even after you take the heat gun off, of it, it'll still finish pulling on down tight. I like to do this on trailers because it, it just it guarantees a heck of a connection instead of using like scotch locks or twisting it and electrical tape and all that. It takes a lot more time to do it like this, but I feel like in my opinion it's a better does better. That's the one I did a while ago. Alright, we're going to give the Milwaukee M12 soldering gun another shot at this for the benefit of the doubt. I got two tips with it and I had a little pointed tip on it so I went back and I changed the tip. I put it the uh, wider tip on it. So we're going to see if it'll work. A while ago it didn't have enough butt to do it and I had to use the big gun over there. But we're going to see. It's got her smoking pretty good with that uh, paste on it right now. Let's see. Yeah, look at here. I believe it's going to do it. Yep. I just need to change tips, was all. It took it a little while to get it hot enough to. It took it a little longer than the, than the big gun. Look there. Cool. So we'll do that big wire. It just takes a little longer to do it. Let me clean the tip off here. All right. Let it cool down. All right, so we're going to do some more soldering here, and I'm going to do it with the M12. This will just be two wires connecting, whereas all these others I did, there were three wires in there. And we're going to use the Milwaukee soldering gun again on this. It, uh, the Milwaukee gun, the M12 gun, would not solder the three wires together with the little pointed tip. And I forgot I had that wider tip. It would when i picked this one up of course it was soldered but uh when i change the tips it would so i'm gonna go ahead it's already hot it only takes like 18 seconds to come to full temperature so i'm gonna go ahead and cut it off for right now because it's already got the heat in it but uh i've already slid my uh heat shrink up and we're gonna lay these wires together here we're gonna kind of run them in together and then i'm gonna kind of twist them or maybe they'll lock in and hold for me I've always been intrigued with soldering I just I like it just because you get a a solid solid connection right there and uh, especially on these trailers where there's a lot of water and stuff like that coming up on these Connection, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of it, it doesn't matter how much the input as much of this paste on it as you want to and there's a lot of different solders a lot of different combinations of solder some are better than others and meant for different things and uh, we're gonna Try to bend it here to get it where Where's 
just lay on it right there. If I can quit moving the darn thing around. I don't have it bent exactly right. There we go. I gotta cut it on. That would help. So it only takes that gun 18 seconds to come all the way up to temperature. It'll take it a little bit longer to get that heat in the in the uh, Well, I like to keep the solder iron under it and heat all the way through it and then put the solder from the top. That way I know it's went all the way through it. She's about to go. I need me something to hold this wire with rather than just resting it on there. Because it is taking a while to heat that wire up with this Milwaukee right here. So I don't know if I had something where I could hold it good with it. I need me some of those helping hand things. I don't have any of them. But this is soldered there now. Let that cool down. Now I laid this one on it right quick and as soon as I laid it on it, it done like it's supposed to and it started. It melted, started melting the solder really quick on that one. I don't know what the difference was, but it was noticeably quicker. Let's do... Uh, That's what it looks like with them in. Uh, to, to me, that just looks so much better with it done like that. I got some loom over there. And I keep a bunch of loom here, two different sizes. And I'm gonna dress all this up and I'm gonna pick it up and tie it up. These three wires right here are gonna feed this light that's gonna go right there. I ordered two more of these lights and one's going to go right here and one's going to go right there and that one over there i'll have to tie into one of those lights over there and uh but because i've never really been real crazy about this because when you when you have these ramps raised standing straight up and that's the way i normally pull it it's a little bit hard to see these lights right here but with the having the extra one there and there there's going to be no doubt you'll you'll see them and uh, I opted not to go back with any clear lights here because I mean I couldn't see them even if I did have something where I was backing up in the dark I still wouldn't be able to see very well right there with that so I just left that alone if I was going to do that I would put some up there on the neck that's what I would do but I'm about to dress this up here real quick you can see the other connection that I made right there and so I'm going to loom all this and there's some hooks up under there and I'm going to uh, zip tie all that stuff to the to the uh, hooks. I got me a bag of zip ties right there. Alright, that's what it looks like all completed right there. I've got everything in loom, zip tied up. And uh, these are the wires that are coming over here. You can see where they're stubbed out right there i'm not even gonna put anything on them i'm gonna leave them just like that right there because they ain't gonna touch nothing to ground out or anything but i'll have i'll probably have these lights by saturday anyhow so it's not gonna matter because i don't think unless something this is thursday unless something comes up 
between this I don't think I'm even going to be pulling this trailer or anything so I'm about to go around each one of these small lights the big lights already have grease on them and I'm going to catch all the marker lights and put a little bit of um, dielectric grease on them and we're going to call this little project done but I'm pretty happy with the way that uh, that this turned out I've always been very meticulous on my wire and I like my wire and stuff to look good and all this was done up like this but supposedly a dog got a hold of this and pulled it all down and chewed it up I mean they, it chewed the wires completely in high, I mean completely in half uh, and no dog was capable of doing that but I guess so so I got my other two lights came in on Saturday there they are, I done stuck them in. I gotta wire them up though. Put the wires on them. That's what I'm about to do now. I'm gonna roll up under here on the creeper and uh, solder them in. Put some dielectric grease on the solder and then heat, heat shrink it. I get my uh, heat gun and a battery here. Get it on. My oh, heat gun is pretty slick, man. That's just some of my Milwaukee stuff right there. I've got, uh, well, there's stuff in the bag. There's stuff in that bag. There's two of my lights. And then I got a ton of stuff in my truck, too. So let's get busy. So I learned something about that little gun right there just then. That wasn't even hot or anything. If you push that thing together, it's painful to do it up under here, but if you push down on it, it heats it up really quick. And uh, it, it'll melt it just like that right there. So that's it. I like the ones in the center right there too. Extremely bright also, so very noticeable. I gotta put the heat shrink on it now. It's already on there. I just got to do the ones on this side and then I gotta put wire loom on those wires that are hanging down right there. And she'll be done. So let me slide up under there and get that done and get my tools put up. Alright, so this is the finished product of it. The only thing I need now is my reflective tape to come in. I think it'll be here Wednesday. Today is uh, Sunday. So I'll take y'all up underneath where you can see what it looks like underneath here. With uh, everything wired up and the loom on it and, and all that. So it turned out pretty good. Took me a little bit of time, not bad, but I actually started on this trailer, did it, uh, just messing with it in the evenings. Uh, I started on last Sunday and then finished it today, Sunday, which if I wouldn't have screwed up and bought, bought that cheap reflectors tape, I would have been in business, but uh, I messed up and done that. I got some tools here I'm going to show y'all here all real quick. I hadn't showed them yet, but let me grab these other ones. So these are wee hauls. These are insulated ones. I like the thicker grips because I have been known to cut through hot wires before without having a thick grips on them. But uh, so I went with these on those three right there. And then these pliers here are, of course, Nipix. Got three different, well, four different sizes of them. These, these come in a, in a pack with the thicker grips on them and then this is their little small set a little little one right there i like them i like them because y'all see in the future is what i'm fixing to evolve to uh to do with with my tools so i just wanted to show them i do have these the, all these came off of amazon i bought them paid for them 
uh, they're listed in my Amazon affiliate link so if you are interested in them you can go right there and then click through it and check them out